Hi guys, Vikas over here and this is Vijay Genius. Guys, today I am again with a new video. We will see how to make a Wi-Fi based information display module like this on the screen. This system is built around ESP8266 but not the standalone one. And instead, I have used Wemos for it and is programmed using Arduino IDE. So in this video, we will see how to make an information display system like this using Wemos and Mac7219 based dot matrix display modules. The display system fetches data from local or online server and display the received data onto the Mac7219 modules. And in this system, you can display any data that you want and that's up to you uh, that you can change in the server screen. And over here, I am using this to display my YouTube subscribers as well as my Twitter followers count. So being said that, let's get started guys. <laughs> So guys first let's get into the schematic like how to connect the modules with Wemos and all and as I said earlier I have connected four of the Mac7219 dot matrix display module with one Wemos and the way the matrix are uh, connected is like you need to connect visibility VC, ground to ground then D out of one module goes to D in of the next module and the CS to CS and clock to clock and it goes on for every module that you want to add and to interface with Wemos we are going to use D in of the first module uh, so it will be having two and end like one is having D in and D out and you just need to make D outside of your last max 7219 module open you just don't need to connect anything but you need to connect the D in pin of your first module to the Wemos and over here as this supports SPI communication where you need to interface with the SPI port of your of Wemos and coming on to that when you get into the pin description of your Wemos module as over here we are going to program with Arduino and over here you can find the Mozi pin that is uh, required for us corresponds to D7 pin the clock pin that corresponds to D5 uh, and over here we don't need meso pin because that is not there in the max 7219 and for cs pin we can use any of the digital pin over here in we boss so coming to the schematic uh, we have used d7 to the d in pin of the first matrix model d4 as the cs pin and d5 as the clock pin again d4 corresponds to pin number 2 in accordance with Arduino. So that's all about uh, like how to connect it. So let's make the connections and we'll get back to the code and we'll check it out how it works. So guys coming onto the code which you can download from my github repository and I have given the link down below in the, in the description to the code and over here you will find like some include header files and for like the dot matrix display I have used a library developed by Nick Gaiman and modified by Andreas and again for which actually i have given the link down below in the description so you need to download the library and add it to your arduino and after that you can just copy this code onto your arduino id and you can check it out now coming onto the code we'll find something like choose variable that pulls the number of max 7219 dot matrix display that you are using and for me it is four so if you are using more you can uh, like modify this variable then after that we have declared some variables to have this smooth scrolling display on the max 7219 modules then we have initialized the max 7219 display and this take two parameters that is number of display modules and the cs pin so as we, i said earlier we have connected with d4 that is uh, that corresponds to two pin number two on in Arduino domain. So, if you have connected to another other pin, you can simply make 
to change over here then a simple message string that will display content onto the max 729 max 7219 and over here some wifi parameters and the host address or the website from where we are going to fetch data so how this works is it will uh, fetch uh, the string to be displayed on the modules from server and when it successfully fetches the data it will display the content on the display modules so over here i have used sid password for my network so for use you need to change it the host is the server ip address again if you are using like online or cloud server you can change it with your url and over here i am using my local server to fetch data and uh, like showing on the displays now this is the timeout for the http connection then this is the update display method that descends smooth uh, like calls the display dot send smooth method to display a smooth scrolling messages on the modules then on setup we are having display dot begin that initializes the displays then serial dot begin to initialize the debug or serial port some delay then over here we are trying to connect to the wifi network again if you are new to like http connections and all with uh, like esp266 or you can say wemos you can check out my earlier tutorial on this where i have dis uh, like described all these things in details so you can check that out uh, for which i have given a link down below in the description then after wifi begin it waits till it get connected then prints out the ip address then over here i have used display set intensity 15 which is uh, like 15 is the highest according to the library that i have used and it can take value from 0 to 15 so you can change this if you want then over here this block what it does is it makes a http request using wi-fi client after every two minutes so after every two minutes it refreshes the content and the request is being sent to the page that is in my test index.php which i'll use which i'll show you later and again the type of call is get call and it does so you have got 58 new email and we are not passing any parameter to the website or the particular page and then after everything finishes it we are just making a string out of the response that has been returned by the server and the and to face the required content i have used something like square brackets to identify the start of response and the end of response because whenever you are fetching data from any server it will return you whole bunch of data that is containing the response type the response code and all those things so to identify the exact response from the server server which you want to display onto the display module uh, i've used this square brackets as tags you can say then we are printing out the response to the command line to the serial terminal and over here i have used a character array to more like pass the string return data to the array and after like every and after that uh, it's simply displaying the content or the fetched content from the server to the display module again if you are uh, like interested to know like how these http connections and all works you can check out my earlier tutorial on this and coming on to the page that we are using to fetch the youtube subscriber and twitter followers over here you can simply check the page over here this is a simple php page that i am using that it turns me the twitter follower count as well as youtube subscriber count with the current time so again if you are new to like how to face the data from twitter and youtube uh, like subscriber counts and all you can check out my earlier tutorial on xpath like how to face data from websites using xpath for which again i have uh, provided the link down below in the description and as i said over here i am using xpath with php to face the required data from the server and this php page thus returns the string that we want to display onto the max 7219 display modules and i have just made a string like and it starts and end with the square brackets then i have made my string that is we are genius 
with TW that is Twitter follower count then YT with YouTube follower count and in between I have added some space so to uh, like make how it look good on the display then at the end I have added the time so this total message will be displayed on the next 7 to 1 net modules so let's get into the code and uh, this is all about the code so let's uh, put it into the OEMOS module and we'll see if this works now make control C now let's open up Arduino paste the code over here Again, I'm not going with details like how to upload your code onto the Unimos uh, module, but just for basics, select your board as Unimos D1 Mini. Again, if you are new to like uh, USB 866 models programming with Arduino, you can check out my earlier tutorial on that. Then you just need to select the port over here. As right now, I've not connected; it is not showing me any available port other than COM1. Now after selecting the port, let's hit the upload button and this will compile and upload your code to the Wemos module. Uh, let's save it. Yep. So after uh, like successfully uploading the sketch, let's see on the display if we are getting the right text on the display models. And as you can see over here, we are able to fetch data from the server that is over here I am using local one. So if you are interested you can go for cloud and all and we can display the messages onto the max 7219 matrix display modules. So guys that's all with this and I hope you have enjoyed this and it might be helpful for your projects. So that's all for today and if you have liked this video hit the thumbs up button. So see you next time with my next video till then goodbye.